Okay. Um, this poem that I'm doing is kind of like a little bit of a sex poem, and then it's more like a love poem. I don't know what, like, in back in the day, they taught us, you know, as women, that we should kind of, like, do everything we could to be in our relationship, multiple roles. So this poem is kind of reflecting on that. I am poetry's whore, or rather, it's personal freak. I willingly open the legs of my mouth and spit. Lubricating the mic with well-timed verses and literary spins. I'm kind of fine out. It likes it raw what I do with my pen. As I rub ink upon pages and rub knowledge upon beds of stages. I am poetry's bitch. I write angry line and bite those motherfucking losers called lies and beat the shit out of injustice and Poetry responds approvingly, strokes my head, crowns me with his glory, and says, good girl. I am poetry's girlfriend. <laughs> it parades me with bravado before listeners. <laughs> it declares to the world that I am its new piece. I laugh before song and prose. <laughs> I say my man is better because he is a song that speaks plainly. I am poetry's wife, vowed to be there for life, bed it down, pass a decision to be there with shovel when shit happens, and I can't bear to pick it up, and in my womb I carry its words to life. I am poetry's soulmate, its soul is made it to mine, and in our divine pairing the missing connects to loss, and in my heart there is no comparing. I am poetry's mother. I carry it upon the hip of my diaphragm. I paint mental pictures of it and brag to the world how much I love it. I am, it is. Poetry is my friend. For in times of sorrow, it reflected the rain of my tears. In times of rain, Bowls, it was a reflection of my joy. I am, it is. Poetry is me. Life full of shabbily written words and typo heartaches, broken haikus and quatrains, and moments of getting it right. I am, poetry is. Poetry is God, an aspect. For in its light, I was able to see that me and you actually equal me. That there is less difference and more sane. And I was able to melt away ice cold fears and freeze hot negative desires. And poetry has let me know that I am its preacher. And I am here to tell you today that poetry 